Hey guys, JP here with another car detailing video and today we're going to detail the Mazda MX-5 again that I worked on a couple of months earlier. And while then I mainly focused on restoring the paint, today we're going to focus on giving it a thorough maintenance wash, refresh the sealant and more importantly clean the wheel wells and undercarriage. While not being the most present parts of the car so to say, it is essential to clean the wheel wells and undercarriage at least twice a year, and later in this video I'll show you why that is. Now in order to do this properly we will have to lift up the car, put it on jack stands and take off the wheels for proper access, which means we'll need a jack, four jack stands as well as some other tools to remove the wheels. First up we're going to loosen the wheel nuts with a breaker bar, so that we can remove the nuts easily when the car is already on the jack stands. Then we're going to lift up the car with our jack on one side, place the jack stands under that side of the car, and then lower the jack so the car rests on those jack stands. And after doing the exact same thing on the other side as well, the car is off the ground and ready for its wheels to be taken off. Because we already loosened the wheel nuts, it's only a matter of twisting them off by hand. And a few moments later, the car is ready for its thorough detail. Now it's time to clean the wheel wells. I'm using a pump spray to douse the wheel well in foam. And agitating the cleaning product with a detail brush to loosen up all the gunk that it has collected so far. And when I got to the top of the wheel well, it got really bad, with a ton of mud and dirt being stuck to the inside of the car, which is a good thing that we're cleaning this properly right now. After getting to all the nooks and crannies, it was time to rinse off the remaining soap and gunk with my pressure washer. And by doing all of this work, we went from these dirty wheel wells to these much cleaner and sharper looking ones. After doing that to the other three wheel wells, it was time to clean the undercarriage of the car. First, I'm spraying some Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam on the bottom and give it some time to loosen up all the dirt and debris. Then I do my best to slide under the car and agitate the cleaning product with a detailing brush. After that's done, I take my pressure washer and rinse the undercarriage and a ton of dirt fell onto the ground as a result. So it was definitely a good idea to clean both the wheel wells and the undercarriage. Time to focus on the body of the car, with a snow foam treatment and a hand wash. First though, I'm using my pressure washer to knock off any standing dirt off the car. Then I use my foam lens and Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam to cover the car in a thick layer of soap that will loosen up dirt and through the help of gravity, drag it off the car and onto the ground.
And after letting it sit for a couple of minutes, it was time to rinse the car with my pressure washer. Up next, I use the remaining soap to once again cover the car in snow foam. The reason I do this is because the snow foam provides an extra layer of lubrication during the hand wash, further decreasing the chance of scratches and swirls being formed. As always, I use the trusty old two bucket system. I rinse my wash mitt in one bucket with a grid guard, put it in the soap bucket and get back to washing the car by hand. After that, it's time to once again rinse the car with my pressure washer. It's nice to see that after a couple of months of usage, the ceramic coating still shows plenty of signs of life and there's still a good amount of hydrophobic qualities being displayed here. Now it's time to dry the car with a drying towel. As well as my Master Blaster Sidekick, to get water out of those tricky areas like headlights, mirrors and whatnot. Then I quickly tackle the door sills and doors themselves, as it's sometimes an overlooked area when washing the car, but very present when getting into the car. Now that the body is all washed and dried, it's time to reapply a topper to the ceramic coating for further shine and protection. In this case, I'm using CarPro's Reload Spray Sealant. It's very easy to use. First, you shake the bottle to properly mix all the chemicals. Then you spray it a few times on an applicator pad, work the product into an area of the car. And after a short time, you wipe off the remaining residue with a clean microfiber towel. Now it's time to tackle the wheels. I first use my pressure washer once again to knock off any standing dirt that's on the wheels. Then I use CarPro's Iron X to loosen up any iron particles embedded on the rims. Something that is especially crucial on a car like this that has disc brakes all around. Then I use a detail brush to further agitate the product and get it in all of the nooks and crannies of the rims. This accompanied by one bucket of rinse water and one bucket of soap. I also use a specific tire brush to clean the rubber, so not only the rims but also the tire itself will be nice and clean. And after doing both the front and back of the wheel, it's time to rinse it off with my pressure washer and dry it. And the result of all that work are rims that look much, much better. So now we're almost there. First we put the wheels back onto the car and put on the bolts by hand. However, before we put the car on the ground again, we first use Chemical Guys VRP and an applicator pad to make the rubber nice and black again for that finishing touch. The reason we do that now is because the wheels are in the air, making it a lot easier to fully cover the entirety of the rubber. And after putting on the other three wheels and treat that with VRP as well, it was time to get the car on the ground again. First we put the jack on one side of the car, remove the jack stands, lower the jack, and then do the same thing on the other side.
And last but definitely not least, we tightened the wheel nuts with a torque wrench to spec. And after all those hours of hard work, we're left with one clean looking MX-5. Not only that, we can rest assured knowing that the undercarriage and wheel wells have been thoroughly cleaned and all that gunk that would have otherwise stayed in there will not have a chance to eat itself through the metal and cause potential damage to many of the car's metal components. And well, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.